Hi guys and here welcome back to the complete guide to Minecraft survival and today we're going to be taking our first steps towards the defeating of the ender dragon and we are going to be going to find the stronghold. Now the stronghold it holds the portal to the end and to find it we can use something called ender eyes. Now we have met ender eyes before we, we made two when we created our ender chests. We use them for these. So we've got 12 ender pearls at the moment. So to make eyes of ender, we get our ender pearls. We get some blaze rods. I just need six. Turn the blaze rods into blaze powder and blaze powder, eyes of ender, ender pearls, and we get the eye of ender. We have now got 12 of these, and that could potentially be enough for us to get to the end portal, uh, but won't necessarily be enough for us to open it. But I think today. We'll just worry about getting there, so I think that's be fine. So what I'm going to do now, just clear out this bit of wish I've got my inventory, and then we'll uh, we'll set off. Okay, I've got everything sorted now. We just slept the night away, so we've got a full day ahead of us. What we're going to do is come out into an open space like this here. Get rid of that one bit of seed I don't need. Took my energy chest with me, and in here, got some obsidian. And a flint and steel, some more base rods. In case we do find some enemy on the way, if we can make some more ice render if we want to. Got a bed with me and some spare food. So what we need to do now is get an eye render. If I right click on this now, it will throw it. And then the eye render will fly off in a certain direction towards the stronghold. And this is what we'll have to do. There is a chance though that the eye render will break. So each time I throw it, I have a 20% chance it will break. So right click it. Off it goes. And it's broke straight away off the bat. First one has broken. But I'm heading in this direction, so what I'm gonna do now, I'll head off about hundred or so blocks. We'll throw this again. I quite often I'll mark the way there, but I'm not too bad. I've got the corners for here. I brought some obsidian with me because when we get to the stronghold and we do find the end room where the portal is, we'll do it we'll build a nether portal and connect the stronghold up with our nether hub. We've got a quick and easy way back and forth. So now I've sort of thinking about where I'm going to throw it again. I think my best bet would be, would be get up on that hill there. You could be throwing it and then all of a sudden it'll turn around and go to a different direction or maybe about the way you came, at which point you know you're closing in. And if you know where you last threw it, you know, you can stop working in on where the stronghold is. So I'll get up to the highest point here. So I come from that direction over there to the south. It was going north. I'll throw it again. It's still going north. So watch where it goes. And it falls down there. There it is. We can get it back. And then we run our way. So I think now I'll head up to those hills. Throw it again. And I'll keep repeating this process. And until we get nearer to the stronghold, so I'll crack on and I'll be back with you in a minute. Well, this is a nice fight on the way here. I found myself one of the nether portals here, and inside there's a golden apple, a block of gold. I'll take both of those, I'll leave the rest of the stuff there. I'm also, going to just take the crying obsidian because that's something we can start adding to and using in the future. Another crying obsidian, there's another block of gold anywhere. Right, I think I'm getting close because from that torch it's going this way and from that torch it's coming back by the middle and it seems to go nowhere there as it comes straight down. It is sort of like going back down into the ground in the middle. I think we may have found it. So first is first, I want to put a little indicator where I am. Has it ever come back here overland? Which I will do, so that's connected over to the map. And basically now, I just need to work my way down in the ground. Toss it in offhand. And now it's just a case of just digging down. You see, and you'll notice it quite obviously because you'll see stone brick appearing. Aha! See now we've got the stone brick. And the washstone stone brick. That means we have found it, and because... There are I spy. That's achievement for finding one. 
here we are we are now in a stronghold and these strongholds aren't particularly well lit up so I expect to find a range of monsters and the mobs down here what we have to do now is go around exploring the stronghold we are looking for the portal room which is quite clear and obvious when you see it that's a dead end and you see a lot of doors on here and it's quite easy that's going up we'll leave the going up bit for the moment and this looks like there was a dungeon I tried to spawn in here but didn't quite make it and basically this one was just a collection of rooms put together they're all totally random and there's certain features you will recognize in, in each stronghold. They have libraries that so forth. This is a feature. Breaking out over to a ravine. And the mineshaft. This, again, these are quite common occurrences in, mine, on, in strongholds. Up here, it should be a chest. That's potentially got some treasure in. I've got a treasure remains to be seen. Three iron. Okay, I think we found our end portal. We have. This is what we're after. That is a selfish mourner. These little things. To be perfectly honest. Unless you're planning on making a selfish farm, which I'm not. But as there's multiple end portals in the world, you. Knock it off. And straight in there, it's broke. That's fine. And here we have our end portal. First things first, let's light up this room. You notice there's a lot of lava about. This holes in the floor are where the selfish came out of. What we can do now, we can get eyes of render. And we can go and pop these into. And one short. But we can solve that. In fact, I might as well make both of these into eyes of ender. And make another ender chest. Put you in there, and we have opened up the portal to the end. And if you go through that there right now, we'll be in the end with the dragon. We'll have a dragon fight on our hand, but we're not doing that just right now. But what I'll do, I'll probably just come back here and put in a nether portal to link here. Back with the farmhouse back where we, we came from uh, and then that way I've got the two areas connected and get back here a lot quicker because right now for us to take on the dragon we need to start getting prepared and doing some more work on that that's just going to finish exploring this last little bit over here just in case and and we found the library the first library here normally strongholds have two libraries or can I watch two libraries should I say they have two chests, they all have enchanting books, so we've got efficiency 4, blast protection 4, and protection 3, curse of vanishing. Take those as well. And if you need books, you know, this is your place to come, really. All the books you would want. In fact, I'll just get rid of some of this string. I'll probably come back and get the cobwebs later. And then we'll pop up here, took a couple of torches down. Uh, where's the other chest? It's there in the corner. We've got a smite for Frostwalker 2. We'll take those. And there may well be another library somewhere. It could actually be in a separate area, what's not connected to anything else as well. Just to bear in mind. Oh, I'm stuck in some of the cobwebs. Right. Let's go back. What we'll do now. Is build my portal to get back to our starting home. Down here, isn't it? It is, yeah. I'll probably build that over here. But, but we've taken our first steps towards fighting the dragon. We've came here, we found a stronghold, we've opened up the portal, and we're ready to go. All we need to do now is get ourselves fully prepared, and we can take on the dragon. I will do start working on that in the next up and coming episodes. But, guys, Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done already. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.